so this is the authentication request model and the response so I'm sending it using the authentication request and response class and finally the spring security user so this is the copy actually the copy of user details uh, this makes things organized in my project so, as you can see over here uh, I can get the spring user and do some action on it like uh, get information last password just said or something like that information uh, I can also get information like if password uh, sorry account is locked or unlocked and other information which I haven't set up over here but you can understand that I can do it later if I want next I'm going to add the user detail service implementation this is going to be the database calling method so this, it's going to be calling the database and authenticating not actually authenticating uh, getting the username and password and uh, matching it and if username is found it returns the user as a spring user if not returns the error so if you're seeing my other uh, spring security video then you will know what I have done over here next I'm adding two new classes one is entry point so this is going to be used if the user name and password is not uh, properly sent so if I send wrong username and password it will give me the access denied and uh, places where I have uh, didn't put the authorized uh, post authorized it's going to be handled by this and also the authentication finally the token utils so this is going to be handling uh, the JJWT part so creating generating the token getting username from token getting the expiration date and so on so forth so here are the methods these are pretty straightforward if you go through I, I'm sure that you will understand there is not much complex code over here so you can get the username from the token get created date from the token get expiration date from the token get audience from token get claims current date expiration date expired is token expired is created before last password reset ignore token expiration generate token generate token using the claims and can token be refreshed refresh token and stuff like that so here i have set up the audience web you can change it for multiple devices like uh, your android phone or something like that if you do use that then you can uh, use the methods refresh token or ignore uh, instead of the yeah this one so you can ignore the token expiration using this method if you're using uh, mobile devices so yeah finally I'm going to add the app constant so it's nothing just the token header so I've used it multiple places so I put it in a common place Uh, let's go to the authentication controller now the problem should go away now I have added the filter but I didn't register it with my application so let's register it with my application in the web app in it so here I need to override the get servlet filters method let's import the class One last thing I need to add. Let's open the security configuration. 
I need to add the authentication manager so that uh, the authentication goes through using the application. So I have added, if you look into the projected controller, not projected controller, authentication controller, then you can see that I have added the authentication manager. So if uh, username and password is correct, then it sets up the security context holder, get context, and set the authentication. If not, it gives the error, access denied. Okay, now let's run the application and let's see what happens. Okay, now let's open up the postman. In the body, if I call this method, I should be getting the token properly. So if I uh, set up wrong username and password, then I should be getting the bad credential error. And so after getting the token, I can make the get request call to the protected. So here I have already set up the so let's see if I don't have this mm, header then I'll get error with no security context found but if I set up the XAuth token random value won't give me anything but if I post put the actual value then I should be getting the success true and I do so if anything changes you won't get the result so the token has to be exactly the same finally to recap first everything goes through your filter every request so if um, you already have the token then it gets the token from the get request and sets up the user properly using the validation from the token let's see token details validation token and if it doesn't have the authentication token and if the token is not properly set then you will be prompted to send the username and password so that will be handled by the security configuration uh, so your request goes first let's Go to the controller so here it comes first gets the username and password from you then sets up the security context and returns you the token all the subsequent uh, call must be go use go through using the token so when you uh, go to the protected controller so checks if you you have the role admin uh, if you do have the role admin in your user then you get the result otherwise you don't so yeah that's it guys that's it for this video if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below I will be posting the source code for this video in the comment uh, that's it ciao